When it comes to our daily beauty regimen, we spend an awful lot of time and an awful lot of money on products and techniques for our face. But our face isn't the only area of the body that we need to be concerned about. My name is Jackie Carter, and I'm here to answer all your beauty questions and give you some simple beauty tips. And today we're gonna to talk about the hands. Believe it or not, the hands can be a true indicator of our real age. No matter how many anti-aging products we use on our face, if we're neglecting our hands, especially the back of our hands, we're not doing ourselves justice. When it comes to our hands, we need to wash them on a regular basis, as we all know, but it's important to wash them using soaps and hand cleansers that are specifically designed for this skin. You see, so many soaps out there on the market contain really harsh detergents and deodorizers that really strip the skin of its natural moisture. By looking for key phrases on your product labels like hydrating, moisturizing, or gentle cleansers, you'll know that you're choosing the product that's right for you. Every time we wash our hands, we are stripping the natural oils off of our skin, and it's not the best thing, so we wanna replenish those oils. One of the best practices you can follow is to always keep a tube of hand cream right at the side of your sink. That way you'll know every single time you wash your hands, it's time to apply that hand cream to replenish your skin with those oils and to deeply moisturize the skin, and especially the skin around our nails, which can get a little bit dry and cracked. After cleansing and moisturizing, you know, it's also good and important to be prepared for going outside because of the sun. Think about where your hands are when you're outdoors and they're exposed to those damaging UVA and UVB rays. If you're driving in your car, right? The sun's rays are coming in from all different windows and it's causing damage to the backs of your hands. If you're riding a bike, if you're pushing a lawnmower, or even a baby stroller, your hands are exposed to the damaging rays of the sun which is why it's critical to use a hand cream with an SPF during the daytime when you're outdoors. In addition to using a hand cream during the day, one of the most important times to moisturize your hands is actually before you go to bed. And there's a couple of reasons for that. But the most important is, hopefully, if you're getting your beauty sleep, you've got about eight hours to just lie there and let your hand cream do its work to deeply moisturize the skin. For a little added bonus, and this is an old school trick, but I have to tell you it does work, after you apply your hand cream, and you can put a lot more on at night because you don't have to worry about your hands being a little slippery, right? You're not driving a car, you're going to sleep. Get a little thin pair of cotton gloves, preferably white, and put them on over your hands after you've applied your hand cream. This is gonna help take those ingredients and those moisturizers and penetrate them deeper into your hands. So when you wake up in the morning and you remove the gloves, Voila! Perfectly moisturized, hydrated hands. And hydrated hands always look more youthful. Another thing that we have to remember to do is to protect our hands when we're doing things that maybe our hands just aren't that interested in doing, like gardening, digging through the dirt, right? Or doing the dishes. When we do the dishes, our hands are exposed to dishwater, they're exposed to that scrubbing, our nails suffer because our nail polish will actually start to peel. You know, we need to wear gloves in the garden when we're washing dishes, and it's super important to also wear gloves when you're around a lot of chemicals. If you're using a silver polish to clean your silverware, you have to have gloves on. If you're using bleach to take a stain out of an article of clothing, it's always a good practice to wear gloves to protect this delicate skin. The last thing that we need to do on a regular basis, doesn't have to be on a daily basis, but at least once a week, is to give your hands a good exfoliating scrub. There are many, many products out there on the market that can do this, but I'm a big fan of making my own. I actually have a video out there that explains how to make a do-it-yourself hand scrub using items found in your kitchen, like a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of sugar. Scrub your hands, especially the palms, focus on the back of the hands, and of course around your nails to remove any of that dead and thickened skin to reveal the new beautiful skin beneath. Your hands again will look younger and they will feel fabulous. Remember, it's important to take our skincare regimen off the face and focus on other areas of the body as well. And the back of the hands are one of the most important. For more beauty advice, please check out my blog at discovergoodbeauty.com. We have some great tips out there for everybody. And remember, let's live life beautifully.